going to see all your eyes closed, get into a nice comfortable position. So today we're all architects designing a dream house for our family. What materials is the house made out of? Is it a log cabin? So today was mainly focused on visualization. They were coming up with their own ideas, um, closing their eyes and really dreaming up their design and then discussing that, hearing other people's ideas, and then putting it down on paper. So raise your hand if you'd like to share something interesting about the house that you thought of. Uh, the door is um, almost on top of the roof, and you have to use rocket boosters, and there's a, and you have to type in the secret, um, um, the secret code to get inside. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. A house with floaties under it, it's floating on top of water. I wanted them to make that connection between houses and the fact that they can all be different, so that then when they start creating their own, uh, maybe the, the possibilities would be uh, more expanded. So using uh, visualization strategies in the lessons, it really helps them to become thinkers, to, be, to start trusting their own ideas. Let's talk a little bit about what the composer's intent in this piece is, right? And how we are going to be able to realize that intent. The title is Blue Bells of Scotland. What's the biggest clue to what the composer's intent is, do you think? Bells, sight read, bells. What kind of image does this evoke for you when you hear the, the opening of this piece? Um, well, I can see a foggy fields with uh, a little bit of rain, maybe. I was using visualization and questioning today, and my intent was to get the students to, to uh, have a deeper understanding of what the composer's intent was when they're playing the piece, and to understand that music really can paint a picture, and then the composer was trying to paint a picture with, by layering these different music elements on top of each other. Visualization and you know, feeling is an important part of, of music. Um, it's like, that's basically like 90% 90, 90 of, of what music is. The other 10% is just technical. So it's important for a person to be uh, thinking about what they want to project to the audience.